Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we are on air, and Fina is in the garage. Uh, what we're doing today is we got a piece of aluminum. It's 14 gauge. Uh, we're going to be making a firewall that looks like the valve, the cam covers that we did on the engine. Um, we did the swirl mark on them, the machine look, I guess. We, we're going to do the exact same thing on the firewall. I've got the body work getting completed from the front fenders back. I have a little work to do on the, on the spine of the front fenders, but I'm getting the body work going back quite nicely. It, it's come along quite nice. I'm hitting, finding all my highs and all my lows. And uh, in life, there's a bunch of highs and lows, and you just have to keep, keep, keep going, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. But as I'm back at the firewall, I really want to get the firewall made before I, I have to get the firewall made before I paint it. I do not want to get up in there after the car is painted and get up there and make a firewall. Uh, the 14 gauge aluminum is going to be cut to fit on the firewall. I have a little hole here. I do not, it does, does not matter. It can stay there. I'm going to put the aluminum right over top. I have the brake booster that's going there. We have the steering ball that's going there. Uh, we have, we're going to have the gas pedal coming out of the firewall. And I think probably that would be all of what, what's coming out. But we want to dress that firewall so it looks nice. If you recall when I put this car together, if you, you know, newcomers or people that have been following all along, when I had that in there, we had probably a quarter of an inch or maybe a little bit better from the oil galleries from the back of the head, from the firewall of the engine. Uh, that's all the room that we had. That 14 gauge is going to take some of that room. Um, but 14 gauge should work. It's just going to make it a little bit tighter, that's all. Um, what I'm thinking is, if I take the aluminum, I'm going to take and make a piece, but when I take the aluminum and I cut it, I probably could get it up against the square stock I got going in here welding for the front end piece to go on. I could get it and run it right along there. But I'm feeling that I would like to get it fitting beyond and go right up against this panel here and that square stock and get that fitting in along there, that aluminum. It would just look a lot nicer, I think. It would look more finished. But as I get thinking about, am I going to be able to get that piece on after I get it cut in one piece? And this is the plan that I've, me and Jolene have come up with. We talked about it. I'll make a pattern. I'm going to make a pattern of the firewall. And we'll make the whole thing so it fits in here, I'm thinking. Um, we're going to have to do all our machine work. And what I mean by machine work is the swirl marks as one piece. Uh, when it's cut, it's not going to fit. So what we're probably going to have to do after we get our piece cut and we, you know, it's going to fit inside here, we're probably going to have to cut it in half to apply it. And uh, we're going to probably apply it with maybe some cell, uh, some brass screws, some brass screws, and we'll countersink them so they're flush with the firewall. That's what I'm thinking. But right now I'm going to go in with some cardboard. We're going to try to make a pattern for the sheet of aluminum that we have. I sort of wish we did the door skins. When we did the door skins, uh, we did them in a 22 gauge, trying to get as light as possible. I sure I wish I would have went to this aluminum. I do not use aluminum uh, very much at all. And, and now that I have, I'm playing with it a little bit, um, it's, it's some good stuff. But I'm just going to come in here and start applying what we have. We have some Bristol board, and we're going to apply it to the firewall and try to get something that resembles the firewall and fits nicely. Uh, we're getting everything filled out quite nicely, so I'm happy about that. So, what I'm thinking is I'd like to get that in there. I'd like to get that in there so that fits nice. And, and what it's going to take is, is some scribing, some guessing, some cutting, a little bit of everything, I guess. First thing I'm going to do is I can see that I'm going to try to make it easier. I can see that, that that's on an angle. And I'm going to cut this Bristol board on an angle. Just to get me in a little bit closer. See how fast I can get this done. Just trying to cut a straighter line than I marked, that's all. Oh, 
a little bit more. And then I'll start cutting out the places where Gonna get us in there all the way, so I'm gonna cut it in even further than that. I'm gonna try to be smart about. I don't know how smart I'm gonna be, but I'll make it a little bit further in than that. And what I'm gonna say is, if I'm in the, if I am off on my pattern, I will just stick piece, pieces of paper to to tighten it up. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I'll leave that mark right there because it's nice. I'm going to cut that straight. That's what I'm going to do. I have a gap in there, and for me to keep cutting that and keep cutting that and keep cutting that, see if I can get that to fit, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the piece that I cut off. I've got a little bit, little bit going on down there, and I can always glue something back on it. I guess I most certainly can. But I'm going to put that on there. Magnets are doing awesome. I'm going to take a little piece of paper, and I'm going to put it in there so it fits. Instead of me to keep scribing, keep scribing, keep scribing, keep scribing, I'm going to do it this way. And I feel like it's just going to be a little bit quicker than if it's going to round the edges off a little bit. So it's a little tighter fit. There we go, we got a nice tight fit there. Now, I'm going to take a little bit off that right there because it's up against the weld there a little bit and not going to have it have two markers on the go so I'm, that'll mean I'm twice as fast. I'm going to take a little bit off the top of this because of that weld. I do not want to have it so tight that I can't get it in. Like so. Okay, now we're going to take a piece of tape. Got my tape, do I? Did I bring my tape in with me or did I? Did I leave it over there? That's okay for now. Jolene's amazing to, as always, going to go get me. So hopefully I can get this pattern made and get it cut out of the piece of aluminum in our time that we have together. Oh yes, I must thank everybody. Yesterday we went out to Jimbo's and I must thank everybody for subscribing to his channel. And uh, it was quite a, I'm gonna leave that a little bit loose there. I think that's pro maybe probably way to go. I don't wanna get it right tight. So we're gonna put a little piece here. I wanna thank everybody for subscribing to Jim's channel. It's Jim Patterson 2829. 2826, I think. 2826. And uh, you can see there was 200 and it went to 3,000 and something. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Now we get another piece of paper. I'm going to cut this. Let's do this. Don't need that piece of paper there, so we'll delete that.
Jim's bow's probably happy too, no doubt in my mind. With the crystal board staying off the firewall, I want to get it as tight to the firewall as possible. I'm going to use this little bit of, stop it, stop it, stop it. Use this little bit of paper here to plug in there, get my, get it tight. So you don't have to take hours and hours and hours to make a pattern. You can cheat and do what I'm doing. I don't know if it's called cheating or getting where you're going by just using your brain. I'm gonna take a little bit off, a little bit more off the top there. I don't want it that tight, I might not get it in there. Just take a little bit off. Just a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Put a piece of tape on that. I'm not sure if I could flip this, this side over and make it work on that side. Probably not, because I, I need the shape of the whole firewall all together, so I'm gonna, probably gonna have to do it again on the other side. I'm gonna go with that. that baby, give me the tape, she's badass. Jolene looks amazing today. Woke up at 7.30, looking like a 10 and a half. No, I'm gonna give her 11 today, because she got me coffee in bed. Thanks very much, Jolene. You're my queen. Queen Jolene. Alrighty, now let's do this. Let's make this piece down here. We're gonna put a piece in there. What I'm gonna do is, I got this little piece here, piece of square stock in there. I'm gonna cut a chunk out of this. I'm gonna eye that up and just cut it out. that great. Did not look that great, but we'll cut a piece of it here. Just looking at it and going for it. That's all I'm doing. That wasn't so great. A little bit more. Put it in there where it needs to go. I need to cut a little more off the top. Doing it with this paper just makes it just a little bit easier than if you weren't doing it with, you know, just makes it easier. We're good at the bottom. Cut off that edge on the inside here. I want that to fit down there nice. That goes right up against the frame of the car. It's about, <laughs> also, I'm gonna say quarter of an inch again. It's gonna be away from the car. So I want that to fit. It's gotta fit nice there too because there's no distance in there for, there's no room in there for allowance. It's all gonna be tight and right. I'm gonna put that back down. Trying to fit that right. I got a little bit extra on this side here. That's good there. That's good there. If anybody watch, anybody that um, follows our station, that follows hockey, uh, 
the World Juniors is in Nova Scotia, Canada. And uh, that is an hour away where they're playing the games for the juniors in hockey. It's an hour away for me and Jolene. We even have friends that are, you know, we have uh, quite a few friends that are there uh, taking in the, in the juniors. And um, it's, we, me and Jolene have been watching it on TV. And uh, it's been going great for the Canadians. And I hope that everybody that, you know, is not a Canadian that is in Nova Scotia, and watching their favorite team play, I hope they their favorite team enjoys Nova Scotia as well. I'm, I'm sure that Nova Scotia's will sh Nova Scotia will show them. Um, great hospitality. That's what we're all about. And we're sorry, but we're not sorry. You know, just trying to be polite. You know, most people are in Nova Scotia just trying to be polite. I have a little bump there of weld. I think I might cut it back just a little bit further. I gotta have that fitting right or it's not gonna go in there. Uh, when I put the aluminum in there, it's not gonna fit that weld if I have it up against a piece of weld. Put that in there. So the World Juniors are, be pl be, are being played in Nova Scotia, Canada, an hour away from me and Jolene. We thought about taking in some of the games, but um, it didn't happen. Uh, Canada's playing for gold today, and I wish them the best. Used to play hockey when I was younger. I had a fantastic time playing hockey. Fantastic. Trying to get this exactly where I want it before I tape it on there because it means <laughs> means if I don't, well then I don't get it in the right spot. And I don't need that tape on that part right there. <laughs> I'll leave that there. So I got one side gathered. Let's cut this. We're gonna have to cut this anyway, so. If I can't get it cut. All right, now, as you can see, I'm shy. I'm not really shy, but the, the the paper is fill that back in need a longer piece there there it is that's the piece we want cut that got a little bit of weld there that's where it's welded to the table so that's going to get knocked off that's no biggie no biggie Put that right on there, right across there. Awesome. Put the tape on that. Jim, Jolene got a hold of Jim this morning and said, your station is growing, Jim. He said, wow, he said, People must like a 56 Buick or 56 Oldsmobile. <laughs> so no, they probably like your company, Jim. They probably like your company, buddy. Like his company. that on there like that. I have to remember that that tape has to be cut off there. Yeah, that fits pretty good in there. I mean, it doesn't look uh, like it's the best, but it's going to give me what I need. And that's a true read is what I need. I'm going to cut. When I, when I do this here, 
when I come in here, I got this one tucked up underneath this square stock. I got it tucked up underneath that. I'm gonna have to cut that off straight to get that in there. Obviously, I'm pretty thinking, pretty sure I'm gonna have to. Uh, I got some more magnets, have I not? Um, you give me some more. Oh, I got one up here, actually. That'll do. That'll show like that. Alrighty, now let's do this side. We'll do the exact same thing. I'm going to... I got some little magnets here. I thought I'd do. Joey's going to grab them for me because she's badass. I'm getting closer on the body work. Um, the body work is all on, it's all just kind of um, making it better and better and better each time. Every pick has to be gotten, every scratch has to be gotten, every kind of low spot, every high spot, um, it has to be dealt with. And uh, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just going to put a bunch of magnets on here for now, and I'll take the ones off of the handles. I have to thank a, uh, a viewer for those because they came as a gift, and I want to thank you. them on there. The magnets are good, but they sure do collect metal just like the rest of the stuff that is on here. I'm just going to pluck them on here and pluck them on and off after. Just the one with the handles, they'll be able to come off and on easier, that's all. That's what I'm thinking. I don't want to go over there. We're going to probably overlap that, no doubt in my mind. And that these magnets are holding it nice and tight, getting a true read. Awesome. So now what we're going to do is we'll put a piece on the other side. Thank you, Jolene. My queen, Jolene. Try to get this one a little closer this time, I think. What I'm going to do here is gonna cut it. I'm going to try to get a little closer this time. Bless you, spirit. Bless you. All right, that went well. And then like that. We've got we push against the bottom there to get that. A little bit off top of that. Yeah. Get it nice and tight. 
tight. <clears throat> Just trying to come in here and cut this off. Bend that over there so I can see where it's at. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Gotta cut some off the bottom of that. Now let's apply some paper to the pieces that we need to make it look good. I need a little piece up top. Do that right? Probably not. Nope, I did not. Let's do this. So if you're making a pattern or something, you can do it this way. Just keep gluing pieces till you get it, get it close, and then cut pieces to it fits. I have to do both of that, so we'll just put this one I'm gonna do. I'll glue a piece like of that. Yeah. So it stays, I need a piece that goes in. that off. Yeah. I like watching the little tricks on your on your Facebook. You get sometimes where it shows people how they scribe things, nice little tricks. I guess this is my trick. <laughs> um, just for something like this, anyways, where it's m multiple and out of shape. Contours. Like I said, I have that up going up a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm going to straighten that off. Like I got it going up and fitting probably too good. I don't know if you can get it fit too good or not. If that's a word for it, but it possibly does fit too good. Now we need. I'm just going to rip a little piece and put it on the face of that. We'll shove a piece in there. That works. So we got a piece here. Gotta cut it off. Right there. Bum, 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 bum. Come on, see this. A bit more. A little roll of tape. I took 
Go off with me. It might fit too good up in there. It's pretty tight. Now what we need is just a piece going down that side. I'm going to cut that off so it's straight. Get it cut at the right length. And we'll stick her in there. We're doing is trying to get the firewall, uh, the, the aluminum piece of the firewall that we're going to do, just trying to get it to fit, ah, get it fit the best we can. And then this is the way I'm doing it. I have to make, what do, I have to make a pattern of um, the firewall itself. You see how I'm doing this? Just pressing hard against it, it gives me a nice clean line. Sometimes dirty fingers are, are the best. Sometimes. I got a line to go by there. I got a line that that one's fitting nice there, so we can do that with that. Now that's fitting nice down there. It's fitting nice down there. Just trying to recall of anything. I might straighten that off a little bit. It's kind of turned up underneath there. It would be hard to, on both sides. It would be hard to get in there. I'm going to... Why not? See the line there? Now let's get a line on the top. Mm -hmm. I can trace this. I really don't want to I'll sand it off. Anytime you put a marker, if you're marking a car, if you take a marker and you mark on your primer and you paint over top of it, the marker will come through the paint. So as I'm going to mark this off, I'm going to have to be sure uh, to sand it off or wipe it off the car because it'll come through the paint and uh, I don't know if Jolene wants marker on the paint or not. Do you? No. no. She said no boys. Nope. So I'm going to have to remind myself to make sure where that's wobbly like that. And when I go to mark the pattern, that just gives me extra metal. It does. Now, I'm saying that I have it marked out. I'm going to have to cut that off, obviously. We've got a mark there. We've got a mark down there. I'm going to pull all the magnets off that. Um, tape the other side so it's nice and right. I'm even going to tape it right now at the top just so it's got a little more. A little more. So if you want to make a firewall for your car or your hot rod or whatever, get some, get some magnets, get some Bristol board. And uh, pretty easy to make a pattern. You do not have to scribe it to make it fit in one piece. I just showed you um, just a basic, easy way to make a pattern. Um, there was nothing difficult, but what I did, I just stuck paper. I didn't, I just stuck paper. Uh, you see what I did? I just stuck paper in there and cut pieces to fit in there. Um, there was nothing magical about 
what I did, I just kind of um, went about it a different way to make it easier for myself. That's what I did. Now, if I pulled this out and I made this out of one piece, it looks to me like it's a bit big, unless it's pulling away there. And it's, it's better to have it big than too small. But as I'm doing this, I can see that the paper, the Bristol boards rippled a little bit. When I go to apply it to my, when I go to apply it to my, and where am I stuck? Where am I stuck? Apply it to my aluminum. I might have some difficulty. Put it out, and uh, we'll get a marker going. this here. You can see that ripple there? When I push that down, that makes more metal. Sounds like I'm hungry. And it very well could be. But we got a fireball to make. Alrighty. I'm just going to glue these on a little bit better, that's all. And what I mean by glue is tape. When you rip tape, I like to put my finger on wherever I'm going to rip. I would never want to put my finger on this side and rip the tape. I'm going to put my finger on this side of the tape and rip it that way. Sometimes it gets to be hard to rip tape sometimes. It's going to glue it together a little bit better. Now that, that tape has to be ripped off. Scissors. And my spectacles. This right here, this is angled up, my reminders. I'm just trying to remind myself, I'm going to chew it down just a little tiny bit as I remembered that. This one's angled up a little bit. Just want to knock it down just to, so it fits easier. Piece of tape right there. Now I've got a, I haven't got it all done yet. I'm gonna cut the tape off here because it's not supposed to be there. Let's cut the top off. It might, when I cut this out, it, it's probably not going to fit um, perfect, probably no. It's probably going to need a little bit of sanding here and there, a little bit of tweaking. But we have got the basic shape of it, that's for sure. I have not touched the intake from the, the video that we did. We, we did. we did a little bit on that. I did not touch the intake yet. It has been sitting in there. I've been doing some body work to it. Uh, yesterday we were at Jimbo's because the power was off here. We got a new entrance in here and we got a new entrance in the building out there for power. And uh, that's what's happening. But uh, I have not touched it. When I touch it, I think that we'll film it because it's like Jolene said, people love mistakes and, and what's that called? It brings the ratings up. 
<laughs> so I, I want to do it with with you guys on the YouTube station and Facebook also. We'll see how we can get it. Jimbo had some good suggestions yesterday. I learned some things about aluminum. Don't even know if I'm saying it right, but I learned some things. I did not know that you had to heat or aluminum heated up all of it when you hit when you welded it or something like that. Alrighty, there is the pattern of can I get it in one sheet? Look at that now. Can I, can I, not in one sheet. In four feet is what I'm thinking. And I don't think it's gonna happen. Well well look at that now would you? Yeah, my magnets are not going to work, are they? Huh? My magnets are not going to work, are they? Not on aluminum, do they? Nope. So, it's not going to work. But, I'm going to get the firewall. I may as well try it. I'm going to bring that down. Now I'm just going to get some some weight, I guess. What am I going to use for weight? I'll use some cans of Rock Guard. That's what I'm going to use. Maybe I got some filler there. I got some cans of Rock Guard. Aiden did a beautiful job on the underneath of the car. He did so. Um, he used, I think, three cans to do the underneath the car. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to do it again when we get it up on the hoist. Oh, I am going to do it again. Uh, reason being is just because I'm going to, I'm going to uh, seam seal it. I want to get rid of that cut if I can. And what I mean by get rid of that cut, get it on that line. Just trying to flatten this out the best I can so I can get a true read. Am I going to get enough of this? I have to move that just a little bit. And that means I have to move it all. Look just a little tiny bit there. I, I, I can't. I guess it does not matter if I go the other way. I'm going to go the other way, I guess. as we'll get it right is to do it wrong. I don't say wrong, but there's not one cut that I'm going to get. <laughs> that, you, if what? you flip the pattern, would you waste less of the inside piece, you know what I'm saying? Like if you use that straight line on the straight line? Like flip it over here and I'm still going to cut up in here and have a piece. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of I'd have a jagged edge in there, I guess, but then I have a... Okay. It'd be harder to cut if I do that too, right? If I, if I cut it off in here, then I can just cut the stuff out. If I have the whole sheet, then it's... Okay. Jolene's asking me about saving material, and I'm always for that. Uh, she was asking me to flip it around this, this side, the round side here to be over here, and then I would leave this piece with that sheet. Um, where it's like that, where I'm cutting this, I think it would be easier for me to cut this out and leaving the whole, trying to keep have the whole sheet and cut in around, like here, this way here, I can cut it in, cut it in. Well, half dozen one or the other, I guess. Just going to put it on here for now. I can change it. I can change it. That's for sure. I can change it.
Lock them down there just a little bit. Now, I think that's my pattern. I'm trying to get the truest read as I can. Um, and that's the pattern there. Oh, see, you can see the wrinkles in it. Alrighty, I'm going to say that's the pattern. In order to me to get that out there, I'm going to have to drill a hole in that. I think it would be easier if I had a smaller piece of metal. I'm not too worried about missing a little piece of aluminum there to make it easier on myself, I don't think. Um, kind of <laughs> down here a little bit. Damn it. Just, it's messing with me the whole way. I get a little bit, every time I try to get the wrinkles out of it, it changes on me because I need a little spot down there. It out. I'm gonna. I'm done. I'm done playing with it. I think. I think I am. Anyways, just trying to see if I can get the truest read as possible. Alrighty. I probably will. We'll see what happens. Um, it's going to be quite a jigsaw puzzle. I'm thinking I'm going to cut this with a jigsaw. I don't know if I'm going to cut it all out on this video or not. Depends where we're at with time. I want to keep Roger from the dinner table. And I usually say Roger because he's a a new friend of ours that usually watches it before he has his, I shouldn't say dinner, supper, I guess. And uh, we'll go from there. Oh. So this off I should have a pattern of what I want the firewall to look like so if you want to make a pattern of your firewall I don't know if it's, it will be intr as intriguing as Jolene's or intriguing but detailed I guess like that so that's her firewall right there or I'm saying that's it so I'm going to cut this with a jigsaw, I'm thinking. Where are we at in time? 50. 50? I'm going to do a little bit and then 
you can see for yourself if it's going to work or not. Uh, like this stuff right here is going to be the trying part. I don't know. I might have to come along with the with the drill and drill a hole big enough for uh, the jigsaw and then cut it. I'm going to see if the jigsaw will work. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put a little tape on the jigsaw itself. I did this for the plexiglass, so I might as well do it for the aluminum. Leave it like that, see how it works, see if it slides along nicely. Just try not to scratch it, that's all. Try not to scratch, see if it works or not. That's what we're gonna do, see if it works. We're going to be scratching it anyways with the, uh, the machine squirrels, but. Um, the less as possible. This might be loud, I'm not sure. That's the way to do that. I think, anyways, it's gonna be some banging and crashing. Yes, it is, but I think that's the way to do it. Put that back in there. If I'm off the line a little bit, um, it does not bother me. I'm gonna take the sander wheel to it and we'll sand it. Might be a bit hard to get off. How you doing? No worries. What's that? Yeah. That's fine. Go ahead. Mine or Jolene's? What I'm gonna say now? Um, why don't you um, give us a little bit? Uh, message us on the on the old. I know, Chad. I know you guys are big time. <laughs> I know, yeah, cool. But here's the thing, though. No, I literally go by, just go look off of them, look at it, and I come in here. By the way, the shop. Whoa. Cool. Said, so cool. just give us a message on the on the computer, and then we'll deal that way. I just don't want to say it on film. But you you can you can you can you can stop filming. That'd be cool. No, we don't want to do that. We're just kind of doing the thing. But we'll, we'll be done. We'll, are you going up the mountain? I'm going up the mountain right now. I'm going to I'm cut across and get over the, uh, to Hall's Harbor for a minute. Okay. Do whatever I want, the truck. And I put a number on it, I'll buy it. Right on. Okay. Right. Later. Right. Oh, what the fuck?
And just like that, that's how it happens when you sell something, I guess. Somebody sees something, they want it. That's how it goes. I'm not sure if we're going there yet or not, but let's push that in there. We're getting a little bit of aluminum on top on the bottom of that. We'll go from there, stick that on there. That's hard to see. I need a little stool. Ah, that's better. I'm a big boy now. I'm a big boy now. I got them off the line there a little bit, but I'm off the line of too far making. I think I may be hitting something, and I am hitting the bench. Probably a mistake to let that go. Got a little ways to go. saying yes that's enough all right i'm going to it's gonna be hard to cut i'm gonna bring this down i'll let miles get it cut off and then we'll, then we'll go from there uh, i don't know if that's the right thing to do but i did it just pull this back <laughs> thing sometime is the cord pulling through the pulling through there I'm going I'm hoping that the sander the sander wheel pick it up and go above Hoping that the sander wheel will take off the excess aluminum. I'm getting a bit. Bob the line there quite heavy, but I'm thinking I just want to get it cut off. And then I can deal with that after with the sander wheel maybe. Right on. So now that I've got a little piece, cut it as a big piece. Let's pull that on there so it's safe. So I got it really close over here. It's really, really close. Um, it's not, uh, the black line is still showing, which is a good thing. Black line is still showing. Over here, I got a, quite a bit of a, a line showing, and that's fine because. Um, I can sand it back. Now I got a small piece. I'm going to have it easier to control. I want to thank you very much for coming back and watching. I want to thank you very much for su supporting Jim, my good buddy. 
I want you to thank you very much for giving Jolene nice compliments about her film work and, and what she does here. Because, I mean, she's helping me out and Jim out um, by help, you know, doing the computer thing. And uh, that's what she's doing. Um, if you like what I've done there, if you've, you know, figured out a way to make a pattern for something by just putting a little tape on a piece and gluing it in there, uh, give us a like. And if you like what's going on, you might as well share or comment and uh, get your friends to subscribe and uh, get your friends to subscribe to Jimbo's site and uh, have a great day. Um, what I'm doing today is trying to get this firewall piece of aluminum uh, for Jolene's firewall, get it mounted in there before it gets painted, get it completed, get the holes drilled in it, uh, make it tight and right. Um, have a great one, everybody. Come back tomorrow and we'll be here.